All right, so really quickly, I decided that I would go ahead and just do a quick video tutorial on um, adding the top stitch. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that together. So um, what you're gonna do first is you'll trace and cut whatever design template, in this case, I'm using the autumn leaves and I used both of them. So I used three and four, um, as you can see here. I went ahead and already cut one out of this orange paper and I'm gonna ink the edges first. Add a little ink into the crevices and around the whole thing before I ink it because I like to add a little bit of that final clean touch, which is what inking usually does. You will need um, some thread and a needle, a, a thin enough needle, not too thick, but not too thin, right? With a big enough eye hole to um, thread some embroidery thread through, which is what I'm using. And a hole poker or a push needle, whatever you need to use there. If you have a push pad or a cutting pad, you could put that down um, and so that you're pushing through to that, right? Um, otherwise, just you're gonna have to hold it up and try to get it through. So I did notice that it's helpful to kind of push towards a surface. So that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna push some holes along the edge of our design and you're gonna do this all the way around. And you'll notice that it can get a little bendy on that paper. You don't wanna rip it, so be mindful of that. Um, now the Kiwi Club paper kits are 80 pounds, so it's really nice. They are a little stronger and sturdier to be able to manipulate the paper in a variety of different ways. In this case, we're, you know, poking holes through it and doing a stitch, so it's it's not too thin and it won't rip. So if you have thinner paper, you're really gonna have to be a little bit more cautious, I guess what I would say. But you get the idea here. So right, you would poke holes all the way around. And I'm just doing probably, oh, I don't know, a fourth of an inch between each hole. I don't think they have to be exact. That's my opinion. I don't think you need to make sure like each one is X amount of width between each one, right? Just kind of taking the outer edge of it, um, the design that is, and just poking along that design like so, okay? And so you would do that all the way around. It's gonna take you probably three to five minutes. Um, so again, is it worth it? I think five minutes is worth it. I think it's really cute. All right. Now we're gonna take some thread and you wanna make sure that this is long enough that you can go around the whole thing, okay? So you definitely wanna make sure that you have a long enough thread to wrap around the whole design. So I'm gonna actually pull out some other thread. That one I had was not quite long enough. So if you're not sure how much, I guess more is better in this case, because um, you don't wanna stop the, th you know, thread and then go back. So I would say more is better. Um, this is how my mom taught me how to needle a thread. You slide it through, you know, pinch it, and then pinch that, whoop. Oh, let's do that again. <laughs> pinch the um, thread close to the bottom of the needle, and then we're gonna take that piece and thread it through the eye of our needle. And we're just doing one layer. So sometimes when you're sewing, you'll do like two. So you'll push this all the way to the design. Oh, this one is a little picky because it's got a thread wrapped around a thread. Um, I'm not a fan of that when I'm doing this, it's gonna get bunched up and it's gonna be more annoying than it has to be. So again, I think a basic embroidery thread which in this case is what this brown is. There's not like two or three colors mixed in with it or wrapped around each other. Sorry, I'm just looking through my stash. Oh, there it is. I was like, I had the whole thing. Where did it go? There we go. All right, so we'll start again on that, okay? So um, basic embroidery thread, really, honestly, that's all you really need um, in this case. 
And then, like I said, you want to make sure you have enough. So I'm going to probably do a good yard and a half. Should be plenty, like, like I said, really plenty. I just don't like to start my threading again. So we're going to pinch it at the bottom of our needle and then thread that through the eye of the needle, pull it through, and then we'll have our um, excess just kind of hang over at the top, but we don't need it. We don't need to double this. We don't need to pull this all the way down and double it. You can if you wanted a really thick piece, but in this case, I don't think you need to. We just need one layer. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go from bottom up, bottom up, bottom up, bottom up. <laughs> See that? Bottom up, bottom up. That was kind of fun. All right, anyways, um, we're gonna pull it through, okay? from the bottom and don't pull it all the way through. You need a little bit left over so you can have this piece left over. You could take some washi tape, let me grab that, and hold that down. I mean, a lot of times I just start my thread and once it gets going, that piece won't, it'll stay put. But easy solution, just take some washi tape, cement that down, adhere it down in this case. And then we're gonna go from bottom up. Bottom up. <laughs> now I feel like we're needing to do like a hashtag called bottom up or something. <laughs> That'll be funny. All right, so that's it. We're just going from the bottom back up and wrapping that around the outside edge slowly. And then again, go from the bottom up. And so you could do this, of course, all the way around until you get to the end. And then same thing, you'll snip it off um, once you get to the final last hole. You know, let me, right? So say like that was our last hole. Honestly, you just go around that whole thing. Um, it's not like, you know, rocket science or anything like that. So you really can get lost in it, uh, put a movie on, five minute music or something and just kind of enjoy the process. It's fun. And if you use contrast colors, so like this dark brown with this orange is just beautiful. So think of that when you're picking your, your embroidery thread out, what color do you feel like would accentuate the little details that you're doing? And then of course, when you finish, you're going to end up with another strand like you did on the front and you'll want to trim it off, right? And then either, well, if you tape down the other one, you could just tape down the other one. I mean, on these, I tied the two together um, because I had already started it and I just held the piece while I was stitching until I got to the final one and then tied the numb off. But like I said, um, washi tape is a great way to kind of secure those strands once you're done as well. So that's a general how-to of how to add a little stitching to your fun little design elements, accessories, or whatever you choose to. You can even do them really cute around a border. Dang it, I should have done that. That would have been so cute. On the edge of a border. Ah, oh, isn't it funny when you get an idea? Next page, Susan, next time. All right, guys, I hope this inspires you. Like always, share it with us in the community. We'd love to see what you create, celebrate your creations with you um, that you finish, and use hashtag create with KiwiLean. I look forward to seeing what you create with the Kiwi Club Kit. And until next time, keep playing to create. Bye now.